In part two, I'm going to introduce you to your re responding to literature essay. You can find the assignment instructions for this essay on pages 15 to 16 in your syllabus. This will be due at the end of week eight. It's essentially your last project in the course. Like the other essays, it should be two to four pages and you will only need one outside source um, for this essay and it will need to be a scholarly source. All right. In a nutshell, what you're doing for this essay is you're going to read uh, one of the assigned short stories or poems, and you're going to analyze this story for some sort of element or uh, for a theme, um, however you want. And I will walk you through um, more of how to analyze the story and what to write on um, in upcoming videos. But basically, uh, that's what you're being asked to do. Now, the writing process for this essay is a little different. Okay, you're going to go through all five steps, but the difference is that this week you're only going to do the discover phase. Normally I have you do the discover and sources phase in our first week, but for this week it's just um, you're going to choose your story, you're going to identify what you want to focus on in that story, and then you're going to write a working thesis. Okay, so keep this in mind. Now the timing of how long it'll take you to write this essay will largely be the same. You may spend, be spending a little more time on these earlier steps because you're going to have to read your short story um, and analyze it, which will take a little bit more time. So for this week, um, you're going to find that this step is actually uh, really combined with your um, midweek um, assignment, your, your exercise. Now, what are the stories and poems that you can choose for, uh, choose from for this assignment? Uh, you will find the text under our week seven module in the list responding to a literature text list. And there are quite a number of short stories and a few poems on the list. Um, all of these you should be able to find online for free just by Googling the title, the author, and say something like PDF um, or full text, and it'll come up. Now, you may be familiar with some of the stories on this list. You may not be. Um, if you're real intimidated by literature, I do have a couple recommendations, which would be Raymond Carver's Cathedral or Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Minister's Black Veil. But really, any of these stories um, are good ones to read for this assignment. So I would just say uh, Google a few, see which ones strike you as interesting or that you would like to learn more about, um, and choose one for this assignment. Now for Thursday, you do have to have your story picked out because you're going to be using it for the glossary and development exercise, okay? And the purpose of this exercise is really to prepare you for your um, responding to literature essay that's due next week, okay? So you're going to read your story and then you're going to analyze uh, the different aspects of a story. So you'll write a paragraph analyzing the characters, the plot, the point of view, uh, setting, and um, symbols, okay? Now, um, you'll learn more about these terms within chapter 12. If you remember, there's a glossary on page 212. It's kind of right after the short stories that you can look at into. And there's also a template document on our course page that can help you with um, this assignment, okay? So this essay is the foundation of your responding to literature essay, okay? So it's real important that you do well on this assignment. And I'll be giving you some feedback and maybe suggestions of like, yeah, uh, pursue this point uh, in your uh, responding to literature essay, or that's a great observation, continue with that, okay? So at this point, uh, what I recommend you do is go to that list, choose your literary story, and then complete the glossary and development exercise um, and get that submitted. And if you run into any difficulty or if you have any questions or need help choosing a story, please reach out to me.